I'm sorry, I know this low frame rate and kind of crappy resolution is not what you're used to, and I promise you it'll only be temporary. My awesome high definition camcorder is broken and it makes me go Rrrr. Moving on, you know I've said that the terminal doesn't have to be a frightening place, but did you know that it can actually be quite fun? Well, you don't have to take my word for it. Let me show it to you. Brought to you by Audible. Hey, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Salt, your source for open source. Today I'm going to show you my top five semi-useless and sometimes completely useless but fun terminal commands and just kind of really tricks in the command line that you didn't know existed. A calendar is something we use on a daily basis, and yet most people don't know they can pull it up using just the terminal. Granted, it's pretty basic, but Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492, and if you wanted to see what day of the week that was, well, you could with a cal command. And no matter what day it is, sometimes life is riddled with uncertainty and you just need to have a cheesy fortune available to you. For these times, use fortune. Now I know this is older than dirt, but there are some filters you can install to mix it up a bit. You can also decide if you want offensive fortunes or not, of course you do, along with the length of said fortunes. They're all not technically fortunes either, but who knew how erudite you'd sound by being Elmer Fudd. Don't take wife seriously, you'll never get out of it alive. <laughs> if you played with a command line with any kind of regularity, you use ls all the time. After all, you need to list what files you have in folders, like I'm doing right now. Well, it's easy when you're typing so fast to mess it up and get the command backwards. When you have sl installed and you do this, there will be a super high-res steam locomotive race across your console. Get it? SL, steam locomotive. Clever, huh? Everything I've told you has been text so far, so I'm going to step it up a bit with some graphics. With X-Penguins, you can have some slippery little suckers fall down on your desktop and amuse yourself by squishing them with blood and, and guts and all that good stuff. And as a bonus, I'll throw in Oneko. I'm not sure if it's a Japanese word for something or a cat's name, but it does create a lovely game of cat and mouse where the frisky feline follows your cursor wherever you move. Actually, it's kind of fun. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there was an ASCII version of Star Wars. Seriously. And when all the attempts of amusing yourself in the command line has been in vain, you can give up and do some actual work. Or you can watch a full-length ASCII feature of one of the Star Wars movies. I know which one I'd pick. Thanks for watching OS Alt. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source with hopefully a fixed camera. I saw The Hobbit when it first came out and liked the movie so much I decided to read the book, but there's only one problem. I have some killer adult ADD. Well, Audible comes to the rescue with 100,000 audiobooks to choose from that you can listen to wherever you are in Middle Earth. So if you're into Bilbo's band of bearded folk or Snow White's Seven Dwarfs, Audible has just the story for your MP3 player or computer. Just go to audiblepodcast.com slash osalt to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. That's audiblepodcast.com slash osalt.